Hello, and welcome to part two of the tractor story. In part one, we looked at some of the classic tractors, but this time we're going to look at some more up-to-date machines, those built between 1990 and the present day. It was during this period that electronics really got a foothold in tractor designs. Other innovations include a power shift gearbox, front and cab suspension systems, rubber track crawlers, high speed tractors, and of course, the constant variable transmissions. Indeed, it seems that the modern tractors of today have nothing in common with those that went before at all. But this in fact is not the case, as modern tractors have evolved from those machines in many fundamental ways. So to demonstrate this, we've returned to Cambridgeshire and Chefin's Agricultural Auction, as there is nowhere else you will find so many different generations of tractors all in one place. We'll start in the 1990s, a decade that proved to be an unsettling time for farm machinery manufacturers in general, with many takeovers and mergers. The decade had hardly started when it was announced that Ford New Holland and Fiat Agri was to merge. By 1991 it was clear that Fiat had virtually acquired Ford New Holland and that Ford's long history of tractor involvement would eventually come to an end. At the moment though, it was business as usual, as both Ford and Fiat had new and exciting ranges waiting in the wings. 